Boston Celtics could clinch a playoff spot Wednesday with a win and a Philadelphia 76ers loss as Rajon Rondo warming up with the team. Of course, not playing, but participating with his teammates. Paul Pierce missed the last game for personal reasons back in the lineup on Wednesday. Jeff Green, 14 first-half points, gets the bucket and the foul. Nice touch pass from Jordan Crawford. Boston led by 10 going into the locker room. Jeff Green continuing things in the third, knocking down a three ball. Boston led by as many as 18 in the third. But the Pistons coming back. Detroit had won the last four matchups against Boston by an average of 15 points. Greg Monroe joining in on an 11-0 spurt for the Pistons to end the third quarter, but Boston still led by seven. Monroe missing the hook, but getting it right back and putting it in. 24 points, 17 rebounds for the former Georgetown Hoya. Paul Pierce, he had 17 in the contest. Boston by five after the fadeaway. And Jason Terry, a wide open three. He misses, but Jeff Green there for the putback slam. He was 13 of 19 from the floor. Charlie Villanueva puts it on the floor, finds Jonas Jarepko. That three ball is good. Boston still leading 93-90 with two and a half to play. Pistons coming up with the steal on the break. Brandon Knight misses the wide open bunny. Oh, a costly mistake right there that would have pulled the Pistons within one. And the Celtics capitalizing. Pierce getting in the paint, kicks it out to Green, and Jeff Green had 34 points in this one. Celtics by five, off the inbound. Charlie V, nice cut from Monroe, gets the easy slam. It's 96-93 with 44 seconds left. Last chance for the Pistons. They work it around, Rodney Stuckey to Villanueva. Charlie V just two of 17 from the floor, 0 of eight from downtown. The Celtics corral the rebound and finish it off with free throws. 98-93, the Sixers lost and the Celtics win. That means Boston clinches a playoff spot for the sixth straight season.